And I'm in the Weather Center now with our favorite chief meteorologist, Wes Hohenstein. Mm -hmm. This is your favorite, favorite today. Today favorite, yes. This you know weekend. This is, well, yeah. Today was great, though. Right, Gorgeous. Yeah. So let's <laughs> just make it clear off the bat. We're not complaining, but no. this ain't supposed to happen in uh, January. So the month sure. is over in a few hours. And as we look back, Sharon, there have been 21 days at or above normal and only 10 below normal. Now, when it was below normal, like early this month, it was below normal, but today 68 degrees here in the triangle was our high and it's 60 right now. But better than that, we have got a super sunset, just a gorgeous night. Hopefully you can get out and enjoy it. We're going to do it again tomorrow as we welcome in February, but we're going to do it without the wind. More on that in just a second. So outside right now, 50s and 60s. And most of us are in the 60s, very comfortable outside. And compared to where we were yesterday, remember we talked about that wind shift and how that pretty much controls our temperatures this time of year? It worked, right? It's 23 degrees warmer right now in Lewisburg than it was last night at 6 o'clock. 22 degrees warmer in Roxborough than it was 24 hours ago. So that wind shift from north to southwest did a number on our temperatures, but it was windy. I mean, our gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour and sustained winds right now are 5 to 15. So it's still breezy, but those winds are going to relax overnight and will be generally light tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a perfect day. Great start to a new month. So still breezy tonight as we'll hold around 60 for the next few hours. We'll keep it dry. Just a few fair weather clouds out there as we fall through the 50s overnight. And after walking out the door this morning with 30 degrees, it's going to be 44 tomorrow. Probably not worthy of short sleeves or anything, but you don't need the coat like you did this morning. So our pressures kind of shifted around on us. So remember where they were yesterday. Well, today the high shift south on us and we've got a new area of low pressure up to the north. They're still working together, which is why it was breezy, why, why the winds were stronger, but they were coming more out of the west and the southwest. Well, those are going to continue tomorrow just in a lighter fashion and then tomorrow night this cold front comes through. So let's talk about what that's going to do to us. First of all, in the morning time, will be a little warmer than where we were 24 hours ago, and those winds won't be as strong, but still out of the southwest throughout the day tomorrow. And so a warm, sunny and dry day. But as we get into late tomorrow night, notice we get some more clouds. We get a few specks of green showing up well ahead of our cold front. So that's our rain chance. So this is not a big rainmaker, but as the front actually comes through in the early morning hours of Thursday, you'll feel that this is a cold maker. It'll be a little bit cooler on Thursday for Groundhog Day and then a lot cooler as we head into Friday and this weekend. But we've also got some rain to talk about. First comes the clouds on Friday and then the rain will come a little bit later in the day and it will be rain and nothing more, at least for this round. As we look at the temperatures tomorrow across the area, 66 is what we're expecting here in the capital, 65 in Durham, back into the 70s for the second day in a row in Fayetteville. So February is starting like so many days in January were, but it's not going to stay that way because after a high of 66 tomorrow, the cold front drops us to 56 Thursday, mid 40s on Friday. So that's our chilly day with now a 40% chance of rain. So that just ain't going to feel good. Saturday we will bring the sun back out, but it'll stay chilly. And then Sunday we've upped that chance of precipitation again, and it still looks to be mostly rain. The exception would be if we get a little bit starting early Sunday morning, could have some flakes mix in. That would be snowflakes, guys. No travel issues, no accumulation, but always some excitement. And then, of course, since it's winter in North Carolina, <laughs> we're going to warm it back up to way above normal. <laughs> We're back in the mid 60s a week from today. Can't make up its mind. Uh, no. It cannot. It's keeping us busy. Yeah. Apparently, we didn't work that hard uh, last fall or something because we're working hard this That's winter. That's for sure. Yeah, you have to watch the forecast you every do. night. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I tell you what, a team worked really hard last night. They did, and they made some fans happy. We're talking about Duke's basketball team, and their fans 